it is absolutely blasphemous to make karak with a tea bag. And if you do do that, or even if you do it with two tea bags, or even if you tear the sachets and use the tea inside the tea bags to make the karak, you guys are dead to me. Oh boss, how are you? How's everything? One uh, chai? Saffron tea. Saffron tea. Small or medium. Give me one small please right now. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. How much is it? Five, huh? Six. Why oh, so expensive? <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you. All right, peeps, here we go. Another karak for me to sample, another karak for me to score. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about having a lid on my karak cup. The thing is, when you hand it over to me, I want to immediately see what it looks like, you know, just like I always do in the videos, but I do the same thing in real life. Anyways, let's take a look at this together. So, removing that lid. It's like steaming, steaming hot. But take a look at this, guys. So, first look. You guys took a look at the Karak. It's obviously dark orange in color. Here's the thing. These guys are well known for their saffron Karak or saffron chai, yeah? Now, you can add an element of orange yellow to the Karak, but you cannot fake that dark red color that you can only get from cooking and boiling that tea for a very long time. So they do get the points for the color. Yeah, you do get the points, guys. Fresh versus condensed. This is condensed milk, that's for sure. I know it, I've been inside. Well, tea leaves, no tea leaves floating around on top. Well done, guys, that's a good thing. You'd be surprised how many people get that wrong. So, um, look, next are the bubbles, and I don't see any bubbles on this karak, unfortunately. And you know me, I love the bubbles on the karak. Now, the thing is, it's not difficult to actually get those bubbles. I explained this before. All you need to do is make sure you pour from a very high angle, and you're going to get those bubbles. But uh, it's effort, you know, and for me, I reward effort. That effort wasn't there, unfortunately, so no points on that one. Now, these guys actually do have that dark milk fat on top of the karak. I haven't tasted it yet, but I can actually see it in here, and I'll show it to you guys very quickly. So you can see that. The other thing that you can see, look in there real quick. You can see those little dark kind of things floating around and that's actually the saffron so these guys are pretty smart they've added like this different element to the whole thing which I kind of like actually the other thing that I'm kind of not crazy about is when you add saffron into the karak you'll actually get a lot of saffron on the sides of the cup on the inside because the cup on the inside is white so you will find all these kind of red orangey type things on the sides and I'm not crazy about that it doesn't look neat so here take a look at the walls of the inside of that cup you see that? It's not neat. And I like neat. You do also see the cream from the condensed milk on the sides of the cup. So they do get the points for that. This particular branch is in Al Jafaliya, so you can get your karak fix over here. I know they have a branch in Nadil Hamar. I know they have a branch in Mamzar as well. And I know they have a branch over in the Tawar area as well. So a number of different branches. There might be more. I don't know about them, but you get points for having multiple branches. That's just the way it is. Because if you love something, you want to get it as many times as possible. And you can with these guys. Now. Let's go for the taste test. Saffron chai, saffron karak. 
could definitely taste that saffron and it's kind of nice it's different and I like that I like adding these additional elements into it so they do get points for that creaminess I can definitely feel the creaminess inside my mouth which is fantastic I like that they've done that sugar man guys this thing is super sweet so take that creaminess add the flavor of saffron add a lot of sugar which has already gone into this karak and you start to get a very light tea flavor which is not supposed to be the case I mean karak means hardcore strong tea and if you're gonna mask that hardcore strong tea flavor in your karak chai then I'm not sure if it is in the running to be one of the best karaks in the world. Look, this karak is pretty good and a lot of people will attest to that. It's the reason why this place is like super packed all the time. So, are you guys ready for the score? Here it goes. This karak is an 80. Take care, peeps.